All right, time to throw the fucking diet out the window across the planet because I'm about to fucking clog my eyes. I, 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 I'm about to kill everything I've worked on over the past two weeks. <laughs> I've been on a diet for two fucking weeks. Welcome to another edition of the Fast Food Olympics, and in today's video, we are going to be finding out who has the best chicken sandwich. Competing in today's Fast Food Olympics will be KFC, McDonald's, Church's Chicken, my three-sided dill, d d Burger King, and um. <laughs> 7-Eleven! Yeah. So, what happened with the, uh, this... What the fuck? What the hell is this, man?! I went to four different gas stations to try and find a gas station chicken sandwich, and nobody fucking had one! I thought they would at least have something like a chicken sandwich, like something labeled as, hey, this is a chicken sandwich, and then when you read the ingredients, you realize it has, like, grandma's ass hair, and, like, skunk eyes, and grandpa's dick cheese. But nobody had anything! So I went to 7-Eleven as my last hope, like last resort. Okay, I know 7-Eleven will have a chicken sandwich. They, no, no, nothing! The only thing they had available that was chicken was this, which is a Jamaican chicken patty. First of all, can we just talk about this color? Why does this shit look like fucking Spongebob? So we will be using this to make a 7-Eleven chicken sandwich, but I really don't think that's gonna be very great. Oh, fucking terrible, probably. We have already done who has the best cheeseburger, french fries, and nuggets, so if you guys wanna check that out, there will be a link to a playlist on the screen right now so you can watch all the Fast Food Olympic videos. Let's get in to who has the best cheeseburger chicken sandwich. Eric, why the fuck are you drinking a beer when you- You don't even like beer! Yeah, I really don't like beer at all, but I'm trying to teach myself to like it, so I'm trying to drink it more often. <coughs> We're gonna start off with an OG classic, that is the Mick chicken. As I have said in every single video that we are dealing with McDonald's, McDonald's is like fucking night and day. Like it's either gonna be amazing or terrible. For some reason getting McDonald's is like taking home somebody that you met at a bar. It's either you're gonna bring that person back to your home and the night is gonna be everything you expected. It's gonna taste good. Oh, that's a little bit specific there. And it's, it's just gonna be a good night or you're gonna take that person home, they're gonna pull down their pants and you're gonna see something that you have never seen before and didn't, didn't even fucking know existed and it's gonna taste like shit. Hope that was a good analogy. One of the most classic chicken sandwiches ever, the McChicken from McDonald's. Okay. Okay. So, so we got the per. We got. So we got the um. That person took their pants down, and um. Once we saw what we saw, we fucking ran. What the hell is that? I've never seen that in my life. This is the case where we went to McDonald's, and they, the person that was making this shit, was just like, you know what? Let's fucking just take some dirt off the floor and add season because this is not very good. And I know people who like McDonald's are fucking passionate about liking McDonald's. And being that this is a video about the best chicken sandwich, I mean, I'm, what I'm trying to say is I'm not trying to ruffle your guys' feathers. <laughs> ruffle your. <laughs> video about chicken sandwiches, not trying to ruffle your feathers. Alright, so on to the next sandwich. Sometimes when you make a really shitty pun, you just gotta do something. I <laughs> now we are gonna be doing Church's Chicken. Now, this sandwich was $8. Yeah, and there's no fries, there's no drink, this is just a chicken sandwich with lettuce and mayonnaise, and it was eight bucks. This bitter tastes like my fucking first time ever eating a Apple. You fucking perverted fucks thought I was gonna say vagina. So this sandwich also comes with cheese, and like, chicken and cheese is kinda like a weird thing. Putting cheese on a chicken sandwich is kinda like jacking off while watching a Disney movie, right? Huh. Both things are really good. Jacking off is amazing, watching a Disney movie is fucking amazing. But when you put them together, it just doesn't feel that great, you know? That's how I feel about chicken and cheese. It's like... It, like, I could just jack... If I, I... This feels wrong. This feels very wrong! Okay, let's... Here we go. Wow. Mm hmm Wow. Okay. I think I understand why this is eight dollars. Uh, this is fucking amazing! Oh my god! Give me a second. Let me take a sip of this. 
I paid eight dollars for that sandwich and I also had to wait like 12 minutes because they didn't have any of that specific thing ready and that was fucking worth it I feel like places that have chicken in the name just automatically have to be better than every other place because it's not McDonald's chicken it's just McDonald's it's not Burger Kid chicken it's just Burger King what the fuck am I even saying anymore? Derek, you asked us on Twitter where you should go to get the chicken sandwiches, and a fuck ton of us said Chick fil A. Where is your Chick fil A? Huh? Where is your filet chicken filet? Derek, filet chicker? Okay, I think we need to calm down a little bit. I didn't get anything from Chick fil A because there is no Chick fil A where I live. In about a month from me posting this, I will be traveling to somewhere where there is a Chick fil A. So, if you guys want to see that video, just be sure to get this video to infinity life, baby! Let's get this infinity! Um, um, just, uh, just, um, if you guys want to see me eat a bunch of stuff from Chick-fil-A, uh, just be sure to kick that like button down below and let me know in the comments, and I'll do that for you guys if you want to see it. Next up is Burger King, and Burger King kind of just fucks themselves from the beginning. They call themselves Burger King, right? So going in, you're thinking this is gonna be the best burger, like the king of burgers. That's like putting out a movie and calling it the best movie ever. Everyone going into that movie is gonna be like, okay, this has gotta be like the best. It's called the best movie. The only people that ever do that and actually pull it off were One Direction when they made the best song ever, because that is the best song ever. And if you fucking think you're, no, it's your, you're right! It! Burger King sandwich is like shaped like a football for some reason. Like I I feel like I want to throw a goal or a field hockey touch point. I don't watch sports. Burger King usually is a disappointment. Okay, uh, let's try whatever the fuck you call this. The burger dick. I, I this just tastes like I'm eating a piece of cardboard that has some fucking white sauce on it. Burg, you need to change your name to like, we're kind of okay, Burger. And I would be like, okay, that's fine, because that's what it But I don't think a lot of people would want to go to, oh, it's kind of okay, Burger. But the real question I want to ask you guys is, what came first, the chicken or the chicken sandwich? All right, next up we have KFC. And if you guys didn't know, actually, KFC stands for uh, kitten fucking cunts, so... <laughs> That's not, don't sue me. I want you guys to leave in the comment section down below right now. Pause the video and tell me what KFC stands for. Pause the vi- Are you guys really gonna make me pause the video again? Are you gonna make me- I want you guys to pause- I'm not gonna do it, okay? Pause the video right now! Second last we have KFC and again this is a chicken place. Chicken places better have good chicken sandwiches. If KFC wins this it'll be the first place to ever win two fast food Olympics. That's never happened before. So KFC. That was pretty good. I feel like that was only really good because the person who made this sandwich put more mayo than an entire fucking family of 12 would ever need on a sandwich. Like this like I it's just like jizz in my- It was still pretty good though. This doesn't count towards the competition, but for those of you who have watched the past Fast Food Olympics, you know that KFC's barbecue sauce is like fucking water to me. Like I, this, I have to do this. This doesn't count towards the competition, I know, but there's no way I was gonna buy something from K- Oh my. me up fam fuck me up so you know you know what fucking cluck me up fam cluck me up so last and certainly the least <laughs> we have the Jamaican chicken patty from 7-eleven I'm gonna go and make the burger but you guys are definitely coming with me and we're gonna do this together um so let's make whatever the hell this thing is into a burger I don't know how do I open the okay there we go we're gonna need buns lettuce, mayonnaise. I'm not gonna throw that one because I don't wanna break anything. <laughs> so let's take a bun, throw it in the toaster. This right here, it was like jump scares before people made them on YouTube. Like this is what a jump scare was like when you were a child. Like you would sit here and wait for your toast to pop up. And even if you knew when it was coming, it would always fucking scare you every single time because for some reason, you never really knew when it was coming. The toast would just pop out of nowhere and there was always this fucking sound that would happen and that sound, for some reason, always scared the shit out of me. Whether there was an entire group of people in my house, whether it was me alone in the middle of the night, the sound of the toaster popping always made me scream like a little bitch and I don't know why. Maybe there's something in your brain.
brain, that psychological stigmatism. Oh my f- Got the bun, and then- Ow! Fuck, that's fucking hot! We take out our... <laughs> it looks like a face! Some lettuce, put that on the, the face. This is the saddest thing I have ever seen. So now we take some mayonnaise, spread that on the buns. So all you have to do now is take your bun and put it on there, and you have the, um, the 7-Eleven Jamaican garbage piece of shit thing that's gonna taste like fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there, and I'm never gonna- Okay, see ya, bye, burger, um... You're not gonna get eaten. We have our, um, whatever you want to call it here. I also did the honor of making a cross section and, um, fuck what? It looks like some chicken wrapped in Donald Trump's skin. So let's take a bite of the 7-Eleven Jamaican chicken patty burger. <sighs> I'm gonna regret this. No. <coughs> let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it one more time. Um, okay, it was it's- That was not nearly as bad as the fucking gas station cheeseburger. The gas station cheeseburger made me puke. This just made me rethink my entire life. When I was chewing that, I didn't even know if I was eating food. I thought I may be eating, like, a human head or, like, fucking, like, math problems. It's so weird, dude. I don't- It's just so weird! Would I recommend you go out and buy a Jamaican chicken patty from 7-Eleven and put it between two buns with some lettuce and some mayonnaise? Um, no! Alright, so it is now time for me to decide the winner of the Fast Food Olympics for Chicken Burger. Um, it's not gonna be very hard to choose who came in last, I can tell you that much. No spoilers! But coming in last place, the weirdest thing I have ever put in my mouth, even weirder! Then my stepdad's dick. Okay, that's not good. Last place goes to the 7-Eleven Jamaican burger thingy, whatever the fuck that is that I made. <laughs> I just really don't know what I was thinking when I thought that was a good idea. So, um, you guys can write, uh, Derek, you're a stupid idiot, uh, on Twitter, at Derek Gerard. Be sure to follow me. Coming in fourth place, so close to that bronze medal, is Burger King. Burger King is just not the Burger King. You need to take the crown and put it somewhere else and just be the burger guy. It's like me changing my name on YouTube to best YouTuber ever. I mean, it's... Well, I mean, I am pretty much the best YouTuber on the planet. <laughs> Third place getting the bronze medal is McDonald's. The McChicken is just such an iconic sandwich. I mean, everybody knows what the McChicken is. There was even a meme going around for a while about sticking your dick in a McChicken. Now, will KFC be the first place to ever win two gold medals at the Fast Food Olympics? Find out right after this commercial break. Take it to them, Rhonda. Okay, now the winner of the Fast Food Olympics, the best chicken sandwich that I had today, even though it was the most expensive, it is Church's Chicken! <laughs> Just overall was amazing. Congratulations, Church's Chicken. You win the gold medal at the Fast Food Olympics for the best chicken sandwich. I mean, if Chick-fil-A would open a location where I live, they would probably have gotten first place. And I mean, if you want to see me eat Chick-fil-A, you should kick that like button down below and see if we can get this video to a million. I like super quick shout out to Sophie Langford on Twitter for tweeting me a picture of her wearing my clothing line DG threads. That is fucking amazing. And you were the first person to ever tweet me a photo. Thank you so much for sending me that. And if you guys want to check out my store for any clothing, it is in the description down below, or you can go to www www.derekgerardthreads.com Thank you all so much for watching this video and sticking around to the very end. It means the world to me. I love you guys so fucking much. Um, there's nothing more I could ask for than all the support you guys give me and everything like that. And I hope that these videos give back something to you as well. I will see you all very soon for my next video. Have a fucking fantastic day. And yeah, love you guys. Bye! Oh my god! About to start recording. There's kind of a little cute little animal waiting for me over there. Nikki, what's up? If you want to come inside, just say and say something. You want to come? Just say it. Say anything. Oh, oh no! I'm sorry. <laughs>